Hey guys, how are you doing? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So some big news just happened in the world of GameStop. Now whether you love them or hate them, 2020 has been an interesting do or die year for GameStop. I mean the, the pandemic situation kind of put them in a hard spot and I know a lot of people feel that as a company they deserve it because of some of their business practices and shady things that they do as a company. And you know what? That's all fair and dandy. That's all besides the point, though. We're going to talk about this huge partnership that they just did with Microsoft. This has just been trending for like the last couple hours or so. It's actually pretty big. There could be a lot of potential like things come out of this. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about it. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, why don't you hit that red subscription button down below. Enable your bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. Let's talk about this. So this just happened. GameStop announces a multi-year partnership with Microsoft to expand our physical and digital omni-channel ecosystem and enhance our retail-rich infrastructure to create the ultimate gaming destination for gamers. Stock went up too, by the way. I didn't buy any GameStop stock. I wish I did. I really thought it wasn't worth doing it because it seemed like they were de going down for sure i mean the rumors of gamestop going bankrupt all the stores that are being closed they're, cl they're closing hundreds of stores and it just it looked dark but a new partnership caused that stock to boost up so let's go ahead we're going to talk about this today read our thoughts look at this press release officially by it gamestop announces multi-year strategic partnership that aims to advance GameStop's key strategic pillars and extend its digital omni system. So you can see it announced it has entered to a multi-year strategic partnership with Microsoft Corp. Further advancing its strategy to expand its physical and digital game offerings. As well as enhance the company's retail technology. With over 5,000 stores rewide, blah blah blah. It leverages its vast customer network, power up rewards, and omni-channel capabilities to deliver enhanced gaming solutions. So through this partnership, GameStop will standardize the company's business operations on Microsoft's cloud solutions and hardware products to deliver rich new digital experiences to customers, creating the ultimate gaming destination for gamers and its vision to be the premier omni-channel customer access point for video game products. So you can see there's a lot of information on this press release. I mean, a lot. Take a look at how much how much stuff is on here and stuff. Um, definitely quite interesting. But luckily, we're going to open up another article from a different website. I'm going to leave this link in the description down below. We're going to open another article from a, a website that does a Cliff Notes, basically. So this also talks about how the stock jumps on multi-year partnership. It jumped after the retailer said it would standardize its back-end and in-store solutions on Microsoft Dynamics 365. So shares of the company in Grapevine, Texas have gone up, soaring nearly 20% to 1119, while Microsoft was up to 21059. So they have gone up. <laughs> I think the last time I looked at stocks for for GameStop, they were like in the four dollar range, maybe under five. Now it's gone up to eleven. That makes me wish I would have gotten at least like two hundred dollars worth of GameStop stock when it was four dollars i would have made out like a bandit and cashed out <laughs> under the agreement gamestop will standardize so we already read that they said this will enable store staff to access omnichannel insights about customer preferences purchasing history real-time info on product ability um subscriptions pricing promotions they'll be equipped with new microsoft surface devices which will enable them to move freely so they're not going to be staying behind the cabinet now they can walk around and harass you to pre-order or subscribe to game informer now with their tablets <laughs> also this can be interesting considering how right now they have big plexiglass around the counters because of covid uh what are they going to do with that <laughs> when is this going to go into effect actually now, it says GameStop said it planned to roll out Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams, the business communication platform, to its stores. With Teams, store associates will be more easily able to ask questions and share insights with each other. So I guess it's going to be kind of like how the Apple Store, everybody's operating with their tablets or their iPhones. 
uh, or Best Buy, Geek Squad, Spectrum, like any tech store that you see, like phone stores, they're always using tablets and phones. So it says GameStop has expanded its Xbox product offerings to include Xbox All Access, which will provide an Xbox console in 24 months off of Game Pass Ultimate to ult- uh, customers with no upfront cost. Um, the chief executive, George Sherman, and went on to say this is an exciting day at GameStop as we announce the advancement of an important partnership that capitalizes on the power of our operating platform a significant market share in gaming to accelerate our digital transformation, drive incremental revenue streams, and over time, further monetize the digital world of gaming. Last month, Ryan Cohen, GameStop's biggest individual investor, who also, I believe, works for Chewy or something like that, reportedly said he believed the company could rival Amazon.com and was holding talks with management and several board members. So big things popping in the world of GameStop for sure. This partnership definitely intrigued investors. Stocks went up. Let's see how they incorporate this besides just using the tablet infrastructure and stuff like that. Are they going to make some changes? Um, I did see some friends on Twitter talking about how maybe this will help GameStop, but we'll also see a lot more Microsoft involvement and presence in the stores. I don't know if this means that the Series X is going to be pushed extremely heavily with GameStop. If that's the case, this could definitely affect um, Xbox sales and push them in the right direction if they do it right, if they offer exclusive Series X bundles, um, discounts, deals, things like that. I can see a lot of potential coming out of this. I'm honestly surprised Microsoft is just outright buy GameStop. They bought Zenimax. I mean, if you think about it, Microsoft could buy GameStop, have over 5,000 stores worldwide, have a place to have their stores, um, have inventory and stuff like that, and still sell Sony and Nintendo stuff. I don't know how that would work out, but I'm surprised they didn't. They could buy it and keep it as a separate entity like they do with Zenimax and stuff. I know Microsoft also has Microsoft stores and stuff like that, but I'm honestly surprised they didn't, but they can get more money out of doing an infrastructure um, type of partnership with their like you know their digital inventory and the tablets and using 365 to like basically make the in-store solutions and back ends a lot better so i guess it's a win-win situation for both companies because the stocks went up thought it was a real interesting thing to talk about again i know gamestop can be a real polarizing topic especially on this channel but i want to know what you guys think down below in the comments let me know your thoughts on this partnership and Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.